Good morning, adventurers. Good morning. Yesterday we did a little road trip from, uh, where were we at? York. York, mm -hmm. yes, and then we came over to Bath. It was about five hours, but we kind of traversed a ton of England. It was awesome. Yeah, ran into some traffic, but that's okay. So the plan today is to head to the Bath Christmas Market, and they have a food festival going yeah, on today Kingsmead specifically. Kingsmead Food Festival, yeah. something like that. But we looked up the lineup of food there, and I think it's like mac and cheese, meats, all kinds of delicious doughy balls of goodness. Oh, yeah. And we have hardly had breakfast. I had like a piece of cheese. <laughs> so, yeah, and a banana. I think yeah, so, so we're really hungry. We're so we're really excited ready. about that. But we wanted to show you guys the place that we're staying in because it's really cool, and we're really excited to show it off. So it's got this open floor plan where the uh, living room kind of meets the dining room and the kitchen in the downstairs area here. And this place is actually uh, really new. I think it's only built within the, the last year or two. Yeah, um, we talked to the owner Clive last night and he said that he purchased the property and this was actually going to be a garage. But then they were like, well, let's just turn it into a little house so that they can Airbnb it and have friends and family stay. And I'm very glad they did that because this is awesome. Yeah, it's what's cool is that it's, it's brand new, but it has this old school rustic mm -hmm. kind of charm to it, which I feel like is really hard to pull off. Yeah. But in the dining room here, we have this giant heavy wooden table, which is precisely the table that we would have if oh, we had a place, I think. 100%. Very cool. I'm sad we don't have more people with us. I'd love to like cook and entertain in here. It'd be so nice. I love when the kitchen is connected to the dining room so that when you are cooking and entertaining, you can actually talk to people. Speaking of the kitchen, because it's an open floor plan, the dining room just kind of leads into it. Uh, it's very white and pristine and has pretty much everything you could possibly need. Oh, yeah. When we when we showed up here, they had uh, you know coffee, tea. They had bread for us. Um, oh yeah, they gave us a, a little chocolate chip cookie. Local cookie, I think. Yeah. And then we had a local cider, but we drank that last yeah. night. <laughs> but that's always cool when you show up and you have some goodies to try. Yeah, and they're a little bit like bread and butter and and milk in the fridge and stuff like that. Yeah. And then in the living room here, we have these really classy couches, just like in the previous yeah. place we were staying. Leather couches, yeah. who knew? They're magical, they're so nice. One of the highlights of the living room area is this fireplace. They have a tub of wood here, and then this uh, brand new fireplace over here that I think we're probably going to light up at some point during our time here. Yeah. Also, board games, oh my what? So now we're just headed up the stairs to show you uh, the bedroom area. So it opens up to this little nook area where there's a bed. Uh, so you can have someone sleep in there and then this hallway leads into the bedroom it's kind of like a little attic style room and it has a ton of light coming through the skylights over here and the most comfortable bed ever we slept like, oh like amazing like last night baby. it was awesome i think the alarm went off today at like 7 30 and neither of us woke up for it yeah it was crazy it was just too good yeah We are headed to the town of Bath to the uh, festival. We're really excited to explore the city because we've heard so much about it and uh, a ton of people have recommended it and it's really popular. So Yeah, and I think we're going to try to go to the Roman Baths later on in the week. Yes. Not today because we want to just eat all day long. So you might not see too much of the city today, but tomorrow for sure. Yeah. Okay, that's all. Bye. We had kind of a hard time finding parking. It said, we saw a sign that said all the car parks in town were full. Yeah. And then they said to use the park and ride, they do this thing where you park your car and then you hop on a bus and like, take it into yeah, town. Yeah, like we did back in New York. Yeah, but, but we couldn't find it. <laughs> well, also our reception has just been terrible. Well, that's why we couldn't find it. But, uh, and we weren't sure if they would take a credit card too. So we found, this is our secret technique. We just pull into a residential area that's a bit outside of town because we don't mind walking. And we found a spot up there. It says that we have three hour parking there. Make yeah. sure you always read the parking signs in England, y'all, because we've yes. gotten busted. But we have a few good hours to go and eat as much as we can. So it's one of the downsides to having a car. We're always like, oh, having a car will be great, but then you always <laughs> have to worry about parking. As we were talking, we just kind of saw this amazing view. Check that out. Wow. Oh, yeah, that's really neat. Yeah. I guess we're beginning to understand why everyone thought we should come to Bath. Yeah, it's very cool. <laughs> Guys, we found the festival. Also, I'm very bundled up because I'm freezing. First things first, we're gonna get some old wine. It's actually pretty cheap here. It's like three pound 50. It's the cheapest we've had so far. Thank you. They said they went through an entire barrel in 10 minutes. Is that what they said? Yeah, we were asking like if it's been a crazy busy market and they said, yeah, 10 minutes to go through it. It's crazy. That must mean it's real good. 
Oh, that's that's pretty dang good. You know it's good when they have like little pieces of actual like yeah. herbs and spices in there. Oh, man. I think it's by the most affordable and the best we've had so far. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. To Christmas. To Christmas and bath. And punching <laughs> strangers. <laughs> We're just exploring the Christmas markets a bit. They have uh, fake snow on top of the roofs of these house houses. <laughs> they keep blowing all over the place. People keep thinking it's actually snowing. I think it's just paper. Yeah. Oh, I think they're gonna do some Christmas caroling. Check that out. There it is. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're getting covered in it. bunch of amazing looking options around here and we're just trying to decide what to eat. Of course the the two that I'm really excited about there's a mac and cheese truck and um, like a smoked meat one behind us yeah, and they've got there. the longest line so now we're just trying to decide if we should just get like a little appetizer from one while we're waiting. We're definitely gonna be getting some of this mac and cheese. You can see them cooking it over here they just have this huge brittle here. They're just dumping the cheese on there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah it's really good. All right, we have managed to find a seat, which is crazy because this place is extremely crowded. We've got a guy that's just going crazy on the guitar over there. He's actually really good, but sorry, it's a little loud. Um, but we picked out a bunch of goodies. Oh my God. First up, we have, um, this is all they had left at the meat spot that we wanted to try, but it's perfectly fine because it's a delicious pulled pork sandwich and we got some Carolina mustard sauce on there as well as some of their house barbecue sauce. Oh my God. It I, smells so good. Yeah, this is what wait. we're going to try first, I think. Okay. That's a bite. <laughs> Add something that isn't the Christmas meal. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Those sauces are great on top. They're like sweet and smoky. And the meat is so tender. I'm gonna try a little piece of that. Oh, I'm so sad that they didn't have all the rest of the meats there. They had all kinds of stuff, right? Typically, they have like smoked sausage and yeah. like locally made, I think. But up there, the pork, he was just kind of like cutting it up and ripping it apart, and it was just like falling apart. It looked so good. Up next, we have these little gluten-free rice balls. They're Sicilian, apparently, made by a guy from Sicily. One is beef and one is cheese, and I cannot remember which is which, but they are freshly deep-fried and delicious looking. Oh my god, let's see what's inside of this thing. Whoa! Oh, oh yeah, look at the steam just emanating from there. It's like a little cave of goodness. Oh yeah. Dude, what is going on in there? That looks so good. Is that cheese? Oh yeah. Ooh, it's a little stinky too. I think it's gonna be really good. Look, so apparently it's like rice and like seasoning and stuff, and then they stuff it with cheese and deep fry it. Oh my god. Yeah, I think so. I can't think of anything else. Maybe like something to do with. <laughs> <laughs> I did have it in my head. It was like. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> It's cheesy and salty. Oh, so many from and delicious. I cannot believe that this is gluten free. That's amazing. Oh my try. god. Dude, this looks so good. It's yeah. crazy. Oh. oh man. It's like the perfect temperature uh -huh. considering it's freezing outside. The outside is really crunchy and the inside is super gooey. It's like layers of gooiness. You've got the hard outside and then this like layer of rice and then a big fat layer of gooey cheese. I mean that cheese is so interesting and yummy. Yeah, it tastes Aww. great. We've decided to save the best for last. We have a big old tub of uh, macaroni and cheese here. Yeah, as if we didn't already have enough cheese on the table. <laughs> yeah, but we've got some breadcrumbs over here and then some kind of like uh, relish up here. And then Allison put some sriracha because she's a fan of that on her side. All right, I'm trying this one first. Oh, it's really, whoa, check that out. It's so steamy. I got some sriracha on there too. Nice. 
a little too much sriracha in my mind. Oopsie. <laughs> nice and spicy. But, yeah. The macaroni and cheese is just absolutely delicious. And the breadcrumbs add like this nice crunch to it. Oh, yeah. Did you try the relish yet? I haven't tried the relish yet. I you guess scared? I'll give that a try. Well, I have no idea what's in it. I don't know. But it can't be too bad. It looks pretty good. Oh, Does it taste like pickles? That relish is really good. It's a little sweet. And it's, yeah, it tastes like um, sweet pickles. Ooh, nice. Oh, yeah. That's real good. The toppings are what make it. Yeah. You know, the breadcrumbs and the relish. Man, and you sriracha. Can, you can customize it and add whatever toppings and hot sauces. Yeah. They add all different kinds that you could construct. Yeah. I love you. <laughs> oh, my God. Macaroni and cheese is so good. Now, we're going to dig in and destroy every last bit of this because we are so freaking hungry. As you can tell, it's getting dark out, so we waited forever to eat. Yeah, oopsie. But that's kind of good because we probably wouldn't have gotten this much stuff and tried this much stuff had we not been starving. Yeah, that's probably true. Each one of the little stalls that we ate at has a restaurant in town. Yeah. Um, so we'll link to their restaurants in the description below. So if you find yourself in Bath, you can check those out. Yeah. Try those dishes for yourself. Yeah, have no fear if you did not get here to try all these delicious things. So you can do it any time of the year. We're on our way back to the car. We're just kind of strolling through the random streets and checking out the Christmas market. This place is crowded. You guys, it's, it's like very elbow to elbow it. people. I'm really glad actually that we didn't do the park and ride. We saw the lines for the buses. They were like way down the street. So our little hack of going down a neighborhood street worked really well. Yeah, so today was all about, you know, the food market. Um, that was our main objective was to just try all that delicious food. Yes. But there's obviously so much more of Bath to see. So we're gonna be exploring it a bit more in our other videos. Yeah, hopefully tomorrow though, we're gonna go take a little hike. So it should be sunny, freezing, but sunny. So I think we'll do that and then we'll be back in Bath next week. We're back. We made it. We took a quick trip to the store, got some provisions for dinner, some wine, and uh, next order of business. I'm freaking freezing. I ain't gonna light a fire in that fireplace over there. I cannot wait. Soap cans and fires! All right, we've got our Christmas tunes going on the TV over there. Oh, we've yeah. got our fires kind of smoldering he's, over there. He's dying. But he's, it's nice and warm still. Dead. And we have our sweet little treat oh my gosh. that we got earlier at the market that we've been saving for later. Mm -hmm. <laughs> later so, is now. Later is now. We yeah. actually went to the store and got supplies mm -hmm. to make a really healthy veggie dinner and then we realized it's nine o'clock and we're like yeah we're not yeah. gonna cook that so we're just gonna eat this for dinner <laughs> all right let's cut this sucker down the middle okay do you think this thing cuts no probably Dang, not you can we... try <laughs> no it's not gonna cut that's all right you can have the ball well i don't know nice. boom so it must be a chocolate cheesecake because there is oh yeah dude that looks so good oh my god of... so is this like white chocolate yeah. Chocolate cheesecake. And then some kind of like graham crackery kind of oh cookie my dough God. maybe. Um, Look at this sucker. This is going to be amazing. Oh. There's no way this can be bad, right? Oh, no, no, not at all. Drop some. Yeah. Whoa. That middle part is not what I expected. It's, it's like kind of spongy. spongy. Like a mousse? Yeah, like a mousse kind of. But oh. the bottom is definitely kind of graham crackery. Oh, that middle part is interesting. All right, now we've gotten gotten a bit of work done. We uh, tried our delicious. Uh, <laughs> I'm still going. Yeah, but now we're going to chill and watch a movie. We're gonna watch one of our favorite Christmas movies. It's called Just Friends. But we're gonna chill, watch that, go to bed, and then we're gonna be coming at you with more scenes of Bath and more fun stuff tomorrow. Yeah, just from the whole area tomorrow should be pretty fun. I think I found a good hike for us. Fingers crossed, it goes well. I guess I'm gonna go into a sugar coma now. So good night, adventures. We'll see you on the road.